In just a few moments, whether you're re-enlisting or promoting, we will renew the oath, your pledge to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. There are two extraordinarily special places in which to renew the oath. One is at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. The National Archives is special because there are three significant documents there, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution of the United States of America, of course, and the Bill of Rights. That is where the idea of America is kept. You know it, that we are all created equal and that we will come together in defense of our inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now think about this place, the 9-11 Memorial here in New York City, because this is the other place. You all know the story of 9-11. Many of you either joined or continue to serve because of the tragedy that occurred here. We can never forget the people who were sacrificed on these grounds. They have family and loved ones who to this day grieve for them. So that makes this an extraordinarily special place as well. But there's another reason. I want you to look around the plaza here in Lower Manhattan for just one second. Look at the people here. Look at the prosperity in the buildings around you, the possibility that's here. Most importantly, the permanence of it all. This place, this is the embodiment of America. More than 400 years in this place. This is America. So when we pledge the oath in a few moments, I want you to think about that. To be clear, when you move around town this week, you will see people thank you frequently. Many will thank you for your sacrifice. That always shocks me. It surprises me just a little bit. I personally don't consider my service a sacrifice. I consider it the great privilege in my life to serve this nation. I hope you do as well. After all, it is an honor to pledge the oath to stake our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor on this country. No one is pushing us off this rock.